That's right. Arsenal. We're hey, welcome back. We're still in the middle of this fucking gutscene. Including nuclear warheads. All protected Ding. by a board of produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass produced. Eventually, a few episodes from now, we're actually going to get back to playing the game. So, uh, consider this uh, another, another edition of uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Rift Tracks, Musical Nerds, does... Ding, ding? Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> oh my god, Future Kino's like, make it stop! ...access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation. That's a stupid idea! Old-fashioned computer screens right there, man. That's like some fucking MS-DOS Windows 3.1... Doesn't this game take place in the late 2000s? 2009! Terminator Salvation was out at this point. They knew what Skynet was. Why do they think it was a good idea? It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots the world order? to keep their place as the country's true rules. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? We can't talk about the New World Order. We've completely disavowed all information about Hulk Hogan, remember? No. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information. Oh. Making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. Is the key to their I think this thousand nuclear missiles is the key to its supremacy. Yeah! Oh, the GW system. I don't think that it can regulate information is the key to its supremacy. The Gundam Wing? The fact that it can blow up the world is the key to its supremacy. That's usually the key to, to anybody's supremacy. I hope to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I hope to trade my way... We already went over this! It's like, write and stop asking him questions that we've already had answered. Outer heaven, that sounds familiar. He's gonna blow up New York. No, he's gonna blow up above New York. And he's gonna knock out all of the power in New York and shut down everything. And then all of the fucking nuclear radiation fallout is gonna come down and turn everybody into ghouls. That's what I don't get. They're like, no, we're not destroying the city of New York. We're doing a high altitude, uh, a high altitude uh, detonation. So it just sends an EMP and knocks out minute, all of Emma, the power Emma, and everything. And her parents must have fucking hated her, right? It's like if you guys are going to blow it up above the city as to not destroy everything in the city. First of all, it's a nuclear bomb. So you're going to have to blow it up way high up in the sky for the ex for the blast radius not to affect the city. Second of all, that is still radiation and nuclear particles that you're raining down over New York. You are still destroying New York, no matter how you look at it, because Gravity still affects nuclear particles. The president just told you to go get a God oh damn my it! Fuck. Yes, under the water. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level. Wouldn't they have taken that off of you? How do you have that? Ryden, Ryden, you hit it in nature's pocket. Ryden, you should be suspicious. He already told you that he was trying to work for the enemy and somehow has this thing that they certainly should have taken off of him when they put him in this little makeshift prison. You no, should be Ocelot very suspicious. Him. Ocelot forgot to search Yes, because Ocelot's not an anal retentive fuck. Ocelot would totally forget something like that. Ocelot's an idiot. We, we totally know that about Ocelot. Ocelot's the smartest fucking person in this entire series. Also, he just gave you Fox Guy on a CD. I don't Basically. think that's how that works. I like how the president is trying to lead Ryan to believe that the most intelligent person in this entire situation just forgot to search the president and take this disc off of him. Um, the president wants you to shoot him. There's no time to argue. Ryan, here's the very easy solution to this. Put the fucking safety on. You can do it with your thumb. I'm pretty That's sure, like, trained stealth operative Raiden in his prime could have very easily overpowered pudgy old president. I'm pretty sure. But I think he was probably... I can justify that. 
He was probably trying not to jerk too hard because he might accidentally pull the trigger. So I turned the safety on. You could do it with your fucking thumb. The president. But he's right. He's kind of stupid. Alas, my finger must have slipped. Hi. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Uh. But bye. Forget him. He did us a favor. He shot you. Without free will, there is no difference. Between and this game is an entire exercise in the fact that free will doesn't exist, so please justify your argument. Because you just basically explained to us with that whole Patriots thing that free will is a fucking facade. So please, please give us a speech about how important free will is, asshole. Contradict yourself again. Do it. You have free will, Raiden. By the way, I'm giving you an order. Yeah, you have free will, but don't to do the thing that I'm saying to do. I'm not really the president. Let me but also I'm gonna give you an order. Let me also continue my 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 argument here, Roke. I'm gonna pause while I actually go over this again. So not only should Raiden have been highly suspicious of this disc that he just got, because the president basically outright said I was trying to earn my way into the enemy's ranks, right? Um, not only should Raiden have been suspicious about the disc because the president is trying to convince us that Ocelot's actually stupid and didn't search him and remove the disc from his person. First of all, that makes no sense and Raiden should be suspicious. Second of all, the fucking Ocelot comes in, shoots the president. Ocelot probably heard that entire conversation and knows that Raiden has the disc. And Ocelot let Raiden live and walked away. At this point, Raiden should be thinking, okay, they... Ocelot knows I have this disc and wants me to use it. So I shouldn't go do all of that I shit. I should go that hurl it into the ocean. Yeah, it's like, so I shouldn't go do all of that shit that the president just told me because they are trying to trick me and they just made it exceedingly obvious. What's Raiden gonna do? He's gonna go do exactly what they want him to do because he's a fucking moron. Snake would have shot Ocelot in the face. That's why I wish Snake was the main character of this game. Actually, no, Snake is the main character of this We're game. We're on the right again. What the hell is going on? We always on the right. Maybe? And we're just going mad. Maybe we always were on the right. I thought we were on the left. Future Kino, have we always been on the right or on the left? And so at least the at least the viewers know. Well, I'll find out when we edit. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Hey, Raiden's actually suspicious for a second. But now the colonel's telling him not to be suspicious. That should make Raiden even more suspicious. Because as far as he's aware, he chose the colonel's working for the government that just told him to do the death thing was a fucking awesome. I, I don't think him choosing to die rather than nuclear holocaust is that selfless. He chose to die now than to die later. At this point, Raiden should be suspicious of literally everybody. Raiden should even be suspicious of Snake at this point. If Raiden had half a brain... Shut up, Rose! If Raiden had half a brain, he would be suspicious of everything everybody's telling him, including Rose, including Snake. Raiden should just fucking find a way off of this thing. Also, Rose, how did you get into the private call I'm having with the colonel? You've got to how did you do that? Either that or Raiden should go straight to Rose. Snake. Raiden should go straight to Snake and be like, Hey, Ocelot and the President want me to do something with this disc. Uh, you take it, airlift me in the helicopter, get me the fuck to land, and you two take care of it. Everybody's trying to fuck me. That's the status. What? There's nothing I could do. What? Fucking Snake. What? Not until I put this disc in the thing. Hey, Raiden, put it together. That Ocelot killed him on purpose because Ocelot doesn't make mistakes. Then Raiden should... Uh, Ra if Raiden knows that, then Raiden should also realize that he has the disc for a reason. And that Ocelot Let's wants see. him to have the What's disc. What's a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear other than the thousands of nuclear missiles? Maybe the thousands of smaller metal gears. <laughs> yeah. Cough. 
It's exactly Snake's a dick and I love it. Yeah, I knew it literally Here's everything. Here's the thing though. If Raiden just pieced it together that Ocelot doesn't make mistakes, and so there's a reason that Ocelot killed the president, Raiden should also be able to piece together that Ocelot doesn't make mistakes, and there's a reason that Ocelot didn't take the disc away from the president. Why is Raiden putting one thing together and not the other thing? That bugs me so much. It's like Raiden is smart until he doesn't need to be smart. Raiden is smart when the plot requires him to be smart. I think no, he's really smart. He just has the shortest attention span in the world. No, I think it's just I think it's just Raiden read the script. So Raiden is smart when the plot requires him to be smart, and Raiden is a complete moron when the plot needs to progress. No, I like my my theory that he's really smart. He he's just has ADD. Oh, dang. Dang. He's just got a really severe case of ADD. He's got, like, no attention span. It's like so many things happened at once, he could only really piece together a couple things. Yeah. It's like, okay. He kind of, like, phased out for most of it. <laughs> He kind of just like zoned out. Like, God, I hate my life. He like zoned out. Ding. Oh, ding. He like zoned out until the president grabbed his gun, and then he kind of snapped like, oh, back shit, into what, his what? Wait, 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 wait. What? I was looking at the sparks on the thing that I just blew up. What? Are, were, why are you trying to shoot yourself? They were with my more gun? interesting than you. You talked for twenty <laughs> minutes. It's yeah, been, dude. It's been this entire episode has been cutscene. Man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also. Met we have not dead. had. But oh, yeah, I remember that. That situation that could have easily been resolved. Remember the first episode of this series when the very first episode of this series was all one big long cutscene? Yeah. We have another episode like that finally. I'm actually surprised that it's taken this long for us to have an entire episode that is one long cutscene. Like. Although I think it's because we haven't been skipping much of the codex stuff because we've been sitting here ripping on it. Stupid, most. Because we're getting into the really weird shit, so we're we're gonna s not we're not gonna skip this game all of the moved. codex stuff. Because this game has two genres. Like the first maybe thirty percent of this game is like tactical espionage action. You know the trademark of the series, and then you hit this point where it's just like military conspiracy and the Illuminati and the. And the let's see how silly we can make the story. So it's like a lot of the codec conversations in the first game we skipped, Dang. and a lot of the codec conversations in this game so far we've skipped and skimmed. But we're not going to do it as much from here on out because this is sort of a hero. Silly, he saved Alaska. <laughs> Dang. No, the um. Yeah. That's not how that happens. We're not going to be skipping much because this is where it gets really silly and there's a lot everyone of stuff for us to make fun of. So we're going to be... I like that. It seems like literally everyone knew what was happening except me. Right? I think the Patriots we didn't have an assault rifle. So everybody would think twice before right? I wish I had an assault rifle in the first fucking part of the game. Just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Dang. Dang. project headed by Commander Dolph was Lundgren? carried out in opposition to the Navy's Dolph Lundgren? Gear project. Fortune's dad? Yeah? To be more precise, Fortune's dad Patriots is Dolph Lundgren? Dang. Dang. Ray to be a thorn in their side. And hence they attacked the dummy tanker and stole... Say Dolph again, I got another one. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately Next time, fully loaded tanker the same load next time we're going to continue watching this shit. Then set up the uh, on the next fade to black, the uh, we're gonna we're gonna end this episode. Uh, so, like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy. Colonel Grulukovic and his daughter Olga, and uh, both fell victim to Ocelot. Just blood. fade to black, and we're gonna uh, uh, when the game fades to black, this episode's over. Ray, huh? So yeah. No. He was underground. Keep Come on, profile. say Dolph again. I got, we'll see, I got another one. We'll see you next time. Must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solomon? I will watch more Metal Gear.